It's uh, been a rough two days. Uh, on Friday, we went to the vet and we had to put our dog down. Uh, which was very difficult, obviously. Our dog we've had him since 2009. He's 15 year old. So for Jack Russell, for a small terrier, apparently that's getting up there in age. And there's all sorts of things going wrong with him. His teeth were all rotten. We'd had to pull out his top teeth a few years ago. Uh, we couldn't like pick him up anymore without him flinching. So there's something going on. He had pain all over. Two months ago, we started seeing a growth on his back end, starting to stick out. And uh, we were just about to leave the house the other day, and uh, there's I just noticed there's blood everywhere, and he was covered in blood on his back end. So, whatever was back there had ruptured, and uh, you know it's a dog, so maybe he chewed at it or it just you know ruptured. I don't, I don't know, but I was freaking out. Maybe not. What's that? She's got old Jesse. She's got old Jesse. Bye. <laughs> so we got to we got to work late that day, obviously, and uh, brought him to the vet. And the vet told us, yes, the mouth is uh, not only rotten; his teeth are rotten. It's affecting his jaw, but also uh, it's infected. He'd gone deaf in the last little bit, probably because of the teeth of the infection. Um, and what was going on in his back end is he had a giant tumor. The x-ray revealed, you could see it sticking out from behind his, his, his tailbone. And the vet said, listen, like if you want more information with regards to this, you're going to have to go see a specialist. We're talking about cancer. We're talking about radiation. We're talking about surgery on a 15 year old dog. Um, and it might buy him a bit more time, but, uh, I'm so guaranteed. <laughs> so making the, uh, if you've ever gone through it, making the decision to have your dog euthanized is not an easy decision, um, especially we didn't drag it all the way to the end. We didn't wait till he was incapable of doing anything uh, or there was blood everywhere in the house before we said, listen, this he's, he's not gonna get any better. Uh, we don't have the money to pay, you know, 10, $15,000 worth of vet bills to do cancer treatment on a dog. All of this is it's got me thinking about the records we keep of our own lives if we go back long enough people kept journals keep people kept diaries about their daily lives um when super eights were popular people would just whip them out and just film random stuff and you have these little time capsules of just your everyday life so one thing that I kind of think is important is that we should document not only the large events, the weddings and the funerals. I mean, nobody really documents a funeral, but the births, the weddings, the trips, all of that. But just, you know, you get home from work and your dog just barks. Every day he greets you.
body and hands. So what I have as far as archives go, this 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 whole YouTube channel, that's the number one reason, right? I'm here to create on a consistent basis, but also it's for me. It's for me, it's for my family, it's for us. It's for us to have a record of the events in our lives, but also just, just the everyday life. And what happened with Jesse lately kind of puts that in focus and it's important. To, to document just mundanity. It's fine that it's not always big events. So we have this, we have our phones, we have old computers that we've gone through looking for pictures, looking for old uh, videos. And I also, the first television show I ever did, uh, the uh, Mario, the camera guy, really loved Jesse. Um, and he was, he was a very photogenic dog. And so he, was he was in there almost as much as me and i was i was the host but the dog obviously stole the show all the time because he was still pretty young at that age and at that time and so he's uh he's in there a lot and i compare these things uh which are very personal these are like our our life our everyday life even even the show this was like i wasn't playing character i was me and this was my adventure my what was going on uh, and I compare it to a blog I used to keep. It's terrible. I will link it down below, but it is terrible. Uh, the pictures are horrible. It's a food blog. I, I'm a big foodie. I, I love food. I love to cook. I love to garden. I love everything about food. And I used to keep this food blog, you know, thinking one day, oh, I'm going to be the next Jamie Oliver. I'm going to write cookbooks or anything. But if you look at that blog, you're like, yeah, it's never going to happen, buddy. I'm, I'm reading through these blog posts and I'm looking at these pictures and there's not one of me, of, of Nat, of the dog, of the, of the, the kids weren't around by the time I stopped doing that blog, but like, there's nothing, there is some stuff about, you know, travels and, and everything, but it's, it's kind of like, when if I've, I stopped doing this blog in 2012 and 12 years later in 2024, I could not care less what I ate on like February 5th. 2009. I, I don't care. And this is me. I don't care about the stuff that, that I was eating, but I would have cared about, you know, what was going on in my life at that time. What, what was going on in my dog's life at that time, wife's life, you know, like what was happening, you know, and there's, there's none of that. It's just bad pictures <laughs> of what I ate, you know, who wants to see that? So the advice I would give to myself, to, to my, to, to, to myself now, um, and maybe this is something that you would, you need to hear as well is number one, document the Monday, the everyday, even if it looks boring, just, you know, we all, we all have a camera now. There's no reason not to be taking pictures. I'm not saying take 50 pictures of the same thing and put them all on Facebook, but you know, 
you capture things now and then. Especially though, document the things you care about, right? In, in 12 years from now, will I care what I ate on a particular day? Probably not. Will I care who I was with while eating this particular meal? Yes, definitely. That's what's important. And one thing I think we all kind of need, myself included, we all need to, to know this now. Do it for your future self, not the likes. It, it, who cares if it's on social media and there's people all over the world that, that like what your, your, your whole movie, right? Like this, that's not really important. But it's great that YouTube is out there, for example, and YouTube, your videos will be up as long as YouTube is up, right? It's a free kind of place to go and stash your memories and so that your future self can go and look at them. If you're going to document your life and you're going to put it on social media, don't do it to impress other people. It'll do it because in five years from now, 10 years from now, when you're dead and your kids are looking at stuff, they're the ones that are going to be like, oh my God, that was cool. So one thing that I've put on, that I've made it a point for this vlog, um, and it's kind of like a mantra, not a mantra, but something like words to live by, I guess, for myself is make life worth living. Sometimes I, even myself, I'm like, make life worth living. That means, you know, not commuting, not a nine to five, head out there, greener grasses, all of that stuff, go on the adventure. And that's kind of what we're doing. Like we're moving to Vietnam. We're going to live the adventure. You're going to completely different situation and that's great and that's that's an effort to make life worth living but with my dog this week he made he made he helped to make my daily life better right and there was nothing complicated about it there was nothing grandiose about it. It was mundane. It was so mundane that a lot of it passed unobserved. A lot of it passed uh, without my recognizing that this was adding to my quality of life. So what I'll miss is his companionship. I'll miss how we were both always happy to see one another because he was a caring, loving, patient, understanding dog. And I'll really miss my buddy. <laughs> and I really hate that he couldn't live forever. And I knew he was suffering and I knew he wasn't gonna get any better. And it would just get worse. Putting an end to its suffering was really horrible. 